The Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA, has condemned yesterday's incident at the Ocho Rios Primary School in St. Anne, where a parent and an institution's vice principal reportedly got into a scuffle over a cell phone. A teacher reportedly confiscated the device from a grade 4 student who was allegedly using it in class and took it to the vice principal. The child's parent turned up at the institution, requesting that the device be handed over to her. When the demand was not met, it's alleged that a physical altercation ensued. The incident was reported to the Ocho Rios police. Disgruntled colleagues of the female vice principal staged a protest at the school yesterday calling for an end to violence against teachers and demanded justice for their colleague. JTA President Lasani Harrison told RFM News that it is important that stakeholders, especially parents, act responsibly as their actions are being observed by children. She said adults must lead by example and show children more appropriate ways to solve conflicts. All stakeholders should find what allegedly happened with a parent entering a school community during the middle of the day because it would have been sometime during school time that some information would have gotten to that parent for him or her to reach, um, arrive at the school and to have engaged the vice principal, a symbol of authority within our school in such a manner. All ought to be concerned. Because that is showing one disrespect. What example is that parent showing to the students who were on looking and witnessing that episode that authority in the school is not of any great concern to him or her? President of the JTA, Lasani Harrison. Ms. Harrison said the incident is another example of the challenges faced by educators in the classroom. Education and Youth Minister Favel Williams has called on adults, especially parents, to practice positive disciplinary measures when reprimanding children. Mrs. Williams pointed to the link between how people use violence to resolve conflicts and their violent upbringing, which includes them being abused by adults during their childhood. Noting that November is being observed as Parenting Month, Mrs. Williams urged adults to contact the National Parenting Commission and get the help they need when dealing with children. There's a, cl There's a clear need for a whole of Jamaica approach to caring for our children. The National Parenting Support Commission, which is another entity in the ministry, has many activities as well this month. This month is Parenting Month. And the theme is reignite the village, meaning let's acknowledge that we need a village to help us to raise our children. We need everyone to be looking out for our children. And there are many warning signs along the way to which we must pay attention as adults. Absence from school is one such warning sign that something may be starting to go wrong in the life of a child. And so I ask you, how concerned are you about the welfare of your neighbor's children? Are we our neighbor's keepers? How many of us, if we hear a child getting beaten, will say, I want bad picnic that if you get lick? She explained that too many children are suffering from irreparable physical and emotional damage. The minister urged parents to be patient and to reason with children. Parents adults across Jamaica. There are many forms of positive alternative discipline. Removing privileges, time out and time out works, talking about the action and why it was wrong, reasoning. Yes, reasoning. Children can and they know how to reason. But as adults, we have to have the patience. Oh, yes. Because they're going to ask us a lot of questions. Why this? Why that? It's your role to be patient with our children. So before you hit, kick, shout at, quarrel with, shame a child, 
reason with that child. Have patience. And you may be asking, how much patience? Lord, how much patience? I'll tell you the answer. Like Job. That's the kind of patience you need to be able to interact with and take care of our children. And you know, because you're Bible-reading people, that the true test God has given you is being patient with those whom you find challenging. And in Galatians 5, 22 to 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Education and Youth Minister Favor Williams, she was speaking at the National Church Service in recognition of the observance of World Day for the Prevention of Child Abuse at the weekend. One man was reportedly shot and killed by a member of the Jamaica Defense Force on Law Street in downtown Kingston yesterday afternoon. Head of the Kingston Central Police, Superintendent Beresford Williams, said the deceased has been identified only as TK. Superintendent Williams also noted that the incident, which occurred sometime around 5 p.m., took place near a security checkpoint in the area. Investigations continue. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett says investments in the tourism sector will contribute to significant growth of the country's GDP and create thousands of jobs. Mr. Bartlett stated that among the investments will be the opening of the largest hotel in Montego Bay and the construction of thousands of new hotel rooms across the island. Because investment in tourism is now going to take on a new dimension. In the next five years, starting Friday this week, Andrew Holness and the team will go to break ground for the largest hotel in the history of Montego Bay, Hard Rock Hotel for 2,000 rooms. Over in Hanover, in Green Island, 2,000 rooms under construction now. Rhodes Hall, another 1,000 rooms in Hanover. 4,000 rooms just for the parish of Hanover alone. 3,300 rooms for St. James. 4,100 more rooms for St. Anne. Trelawney, 3,000 rooms. St. Mary, Portland. He also announced that St. Thomas will be targeted for growth in tourism. Mr. Bartlett said over the course of the next five years, the country will generate billions of U.S. dollars in foreign direct investments. So St. Thomas is the new oyster. That's where the next wave of tourism is going to come. So what does that mean? Since I only have two more minutes. What it means is in the next five years, 45 thousand new jobs will be created in the tourism industry both construction and otherwise tourism minister edmund bartlett he was speaking at the jlp conference at the weekend <laughs>